Hey guys, Zach here. You're welcome back to The Long Dark. This will be episode number four of the version 2.58 update. Just sat down there, getting refamiliarized here with what's going on. 14 hours of daylight left. Uh, we do have the saplings curing as we speak here, as you can see. So hopefully we'll get a bow here short, shortly. I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably go out and try to get... Uh, some guts off of a deer if possible um also probably want to go ahead and let me check my weight here real quick and eh, we probably need to drop some items we do have a rifle wouldn't and we're not afraid to use it in this series let me see if i can stow some stuff here real quick all right which one's gonna be junk drawer uh bottom drawer junk drawer here we go all right uh, looks like we'll need that 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 and that okay that's good those are all essential as long as i wear them they all make lots of sense. We'll put the, these in the cupboard. Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and tear up one of these bed bedrolls so we'll keep that with us. We'll get cloth out of it. We do have a sewing kit so we can repair our clothes. We really don't need to be carrying around the jerry can, but we'll drop that separately. It takes up too much room. Um, what else? Lantern fuel. We'll keep that with us in case we need to refuel real quick. Got two flares. So far, really not too bad, honestly. Uh, probably going to be some wood here that we can drop. Yeah, okay. So let's do that. Let's drop some wood and some books and whatnot. Actually, i probably keep that book with me because it, it's pretty good for lighting a fire in an emergency. My skill level is not that high. Let's go ahead and tear these up into tinder plugs real quick. And we'll tear up that uh, sleeping bag too. That extra sleeping bag that we got. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop uh, this, and uh, we'll drop a few of these sticks. There we go. Now let's see what else can we do. Um, put that in the. Uh, go ahead and put that in the uh, um, workbench. Let's see here, sleeping bag. Let's tear this one up. Harvest ten. Oh, you can repair this sleeping bag. I didn't even realize that. That is good to know. How much do you get for repairing it? Repair about 15% requires two cloth. Okay. All right, let's get moving here. Oh, you know what? Let's drop some of this stuff off here in the... Uh... Someone's getting a little restless next to me here. I just put her down after a, a bottle. I figured she'd be good to go. That shows what I know. Okay. We're going to keep the crappy stuff. Uh, we'll put the good stuff in here. I guess she's just saying hi to you guys. And beef jerky, we'll throw that in there. Um, throw those peaches in there. That should be good to carry around. We're down to 45 pounds. That's not too bad. So, all right. And we still have a little bit that we can drop off down here in the uh, workbench. The old man's beard It's mainly what I'm thinking about and probably some of the cloth don't need to carry all that around there we go let's transfer about uh, there we go transfer nine of those now we're down to 43 pounds crow feathers don't need to carry those and um, I need that many tinder plugs, but I'm not that pressed about it. Well, well, let me check to see how much it weighs. How much do they weigh? It's about a pound. Okay, we'll keep them. All right, so make sure. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I need to bring up my rifle. There we go. Just to make sure we're ready to go. So let's head on out here. The great, uh, great outdoors. Let's see if we can find a deer. Get some guts. Mm, I'm trying to remember where I last saw a deer for sure. No. Oh, there's one right. There's going to be one right there here shortly. Let's move over here a little bit. I want to see what this this wolf gets him. He's chasing something. Where's that? He was definitely chasing something. Did he chase it up the hill? He's got to be back here. If there's a deer and a wolf that we can get here for the price of one bullet that's gonna be great 
He's got to be back here. He's got to be right behind this rock. The trick is we need to get to him before before he eats a lot of the meat. Well, where did he go? Did he just vanish on me or what? Let's get up here, see if we can... <clears throat> Maybe he's on the other side of this. Maybe he's on the other side of this rock that I'm climbing on. That's my only thought. Did I misjudge? Well, where the heck did he go? He took off after something. Oh, he's all the way back there. Look, he's chased it all the way back there to where the camp office is. Which is great for us, but he's eating all our meat right now. Let's get down here. Somehow, we passed each other and I didn't even really, how did that happen? That is weird. Did he chase it up and around? I don't know. But this is gonna be really good for us getting stocked up here on some good items. We're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get a fur from the wolf out of it and everything. And we're already freezing, so. Let's get this wolf to come at us here. I wonder if he's going to come at me. He gone. Alright, let's get inside and get warmed up here real quick. We'll come up and harvest our bounty. Wow. Well, I wanted to go after and get some uh, deer guts and... Our prayers were answered. Somebody's looking out for us. Okay, I'm thinking... 27 degrees feels like oh it's cold in here okay let's uh no I'm thinking if we just rest for an hour we should warm up 10 degrees yeah let's do that that should knock the freezing down at least we'll probably be around 87 percent health I would imagine 89 okay still cold um let's warm up with a little bit of a fire Yes. Go ahead and do this here real quick. I'll boil up some water while I'm at it. Just we need to knock that cold down before we go out there and harvest that. I'm not too worried about our food running away from us right now, since we did kill the wolf that was uh, in the area there. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is that a stick to it? There we go. What well, we have reclaimed? Yeah. <clears throat> we'll use a little bit of reclaimed wood there. Very good. I should actually probably grab a torch out of there while I have the chance. Do that real quick. Let's extinguish that not brandish it or wave it around or whatever okay let's holster that torch with the h key um pork and be oh you know what if we heat that up that'll definitely uh ugh. i guess we don't have a can opener but that'll definitely take the edge off as far as cold goes plus we can get a little bit of food into our body okay there we go Let's eat that real quick. There's our cold there, and I'll watch what happens when we eat this hot food. This is gonna be nice. Hot opened. Let's eat it. Lost about 200 calories. Okay, there we go. So you knocked it down pretty good, and now we got a buff with our uh, warmth. So that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make a little bit of extra water here. Boil a little bit of water. Got 15 minutes. I think we can do. Should be able to do 0.4 gallons. We'll see. Where are we at here? Yep. Should be able to. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Nope. I don't think we are. Let's add one more stick there. Yeah, we can definitely. It took us eight minutes to do 0.2 gallons. There we go. All right. Very good. Alright, let's head on out here. 
Should be nice and pretty much warm. Get a drink. Now let's go out there and harvest these two uh, animals. Both of them the losers in the game of life. Make sure there's no other wolf around here at the moment. What is that up there? Nothing. There's nothing moving anyway. Alright, let's get this deer carcass here. Grab the meat here first, since that's what's going to disappear if we leave it too long. Man, it's cold out, isn't it? Wow. Let's get inside. Got plenty of food. I kind of want to come out and get some more meat off these guys. I want to get more meat off that wolf, I should say. But uh, man, it's, it's we kind of need to recover actually. So we'll probably do that real quick. There we go. Good. That's what I like to see. Lots of meat. Very good. Let's uh. Let's get some rest here. Try to get our condition to go up. How many hours do we have left? Seven. Let's sleep for four. It's it dropped real quick to 59. Now it should be going back up. Okay. There we go. 72% condition. Good deal. Cold's down pretty far, so should be able to harvest these. Uh, at least the wolf. The meat from the wolf. I definitely want to grab the guts. Unfortunately, I don't have a knife yet. Which means it's tough to harvest this with the hatchet. What's the temperature out here? 17 degrees, not too bad. It's a frozen carcass now, though. Okay, 50 minutes. Let's do it. Cold. I'm probably going to be freezing again. You know what? I'm going to build a little fire here. Just to stay warm. It's one degree. I don't think it's going to actually make a difference. Really. I mean, it will, but let's just get the meat. And the hide. Those are probably the most important things. Here we go. Freezing. deal. Starving thirsty. <laughs> In a bad way. Alright, let's go ahead and eat here real quick. Got like three things trying to kill us right now. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the uh, two guts here real quick, see what happens. Very good. Let's get inside. No. We got everything. I am not ready. We got everything we could off those two. So that's very nice. I like that. What am I carrying? Flare. Yeah, let's go with the uh, lantern here. Let's get upstairs. Hey, Carl, what's going on? So cold. So cold. Alright, so, I'm going to get a fire going here. Just to warm things up. And we'll go ahead and burn a stick there. Do I have, yeah, wood matches, there we go. Could use an accelerant if I wanted, but we're not down around 20% or 15%. So... Get it nice and toasty in here. So at least I'm not freezing or close to hypothermic or anything like that. And then we'll go to bed and we'll sleep pretty good probably. Really need some better clothes. I think some of those uh, buildings around the uh, lake might give us some good... Uh... There we go. Alright. An hour and 30 minutes there. 
How are we doing here? Freezing. Am I hypothermic? Ah, I got hypothermia. Body temperature is too low for too long. We can stay until they stay above freezing for um, 24 hours. I think that means your body you can't be freezing down here. Not um, I'm exposed to less than 32 degree or zero degree Celsius temperatures. I think it just means I can't allow myself to go into a freezing state for 24 hours. I think. There's no medicines for that, is there? Okay. So, all right. So maybe go down to 22 health. Um, let's heat up some peaches here. Knock our get warm again a little bit here. This is uh, actually becoming. There we go. Um, there goes the freezing. Okay. Let's go and eat. Eat those peaches. There we go. Much better. Twenty percent condition I think we'll be fine if we go to sleep we should be anyway there's no reason why we shouldn't be so let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces of meat here um, let's see here what's the worst condition meat probably the wolf meat grab three three of those that should be good let's head over here I know I should drop the uh, should drop the uh, guts to start curing along with the uh, wolf hide and the Dear I think this, this might be the end. I don't think so. She should be okay. 20% still, yeah. I thought maybe she was dropping because she started saying that, but she should be alright. They're really getting the balance down in this game, so you have to think about like multiple I'm things all at rest once. Soon. Okay, I'm exhausted. There goes my condition because I'm exhausted. I'm gonna eat real quick. And something to drink. Now we should be good to rest for a while. Okay, 19% condition, 7 hours of, day of darkness left. It's a nice 43 degrees in here. Let's get some sleep. Let's see how we are. I hesitate sleeping because I'm nervous. I have all my clothes on. Everything looks good. 41 degrees air temp. That'll drop to 27, but the, the bed should be 10 degrees, which will take us above freezing. So should be good to go. So let's rest here. Okay, there we go. Up. Oh, condition's going up. That's good. It's terrifying when it starts dropping real fast the other way, <laughs> especially when you're down to 20% condition. Ah, oh, 63% condition. I'm loving life. All right, so there we go. Let's get another drink here. I'm just going to try to get rid of the hypothermia because that's my primary threat. I need to deal with it now. I can't screw around with it. When I start getting cute is when I tend to start getting killed. So let's check our food. Okay. Let's rest for another five hours. Now we'll make it seven hours. Let's see where we're at. Conditions continuing to go up. That's good. Ninety-eight percent condition. That's pretty good. How much more time we got left here on hypothermia? We got uh, eight hours to remain above freezing. I say we just sleep it off, man. I say we just sleep because we need to get rid of it. That was worth it, though, man. All that, f all that food that we got for that one bullet and all the resources we got—that was a bullet well spent. That's exactly what we need to be doing as we wait for uh, these items to cure. Oh, you know what? I should have dropped those other items. That was where I screwed up. It's getting, I was thinking more survival than I was, you know, uh, crafting. So let's drop all these. Oh. I didn't mean to drop my wolf pelt on top of that. I like to kind of keep things a little bit separated so I can see what the cure time is easily. And so I can keep stock of what I have. I got here deer ride. I'm going to put this one next to it. it needs a cure also. Now, do I need to mend any of my clothing? Probably my cotton long underwear could use a mending, so let's make sure I'm not going to go freezing anytime soon. Okay. Should be good. Should be able to uh, mend the long underwear. Repair. It's going to take 30 minutes. I should be fine. 40%, that's pretty good. Come on. Come on. Yeah, alright, good job. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and uh, so we got the wolf pelt going. The guts, the saplings are 37 percent. Green maples, 23. Deer hides are one and three. How we doing on water? Water's doing uh, okay-ish. I can start destroying some items in here if I have to. But uh, for right now, let's just go ahead and uh, get some more rest here. And we need seven more hours. So we'll just sleep through the night again. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and sleep. Let's do the full eight hours here. And we should be cured of our hypothermia here. See, yep, looks like we're cured. No afflictions. Very good. Let's get something to drink. Very good. 0.15 gallons left of water. Alright, now we just need to sp spend the rest of the night here. Kind of want to go out and get some wood, but uh, it's too dark to do that. Don't really want to be running around at night like that. And it looks like it's storming out there since we got question marks coming. I think it was around five hours or six hours left. Maybe it was seven. Yeah, let's go. Ahead. Seven. We got plenty of calories. Let's do it. 100% condition. Yeah, we're living the life of Riley right now. So yeah, I can't complain about that. I, I would like to get a knife, though. 15 hours of daylight left. So it's not quite daytime. Let's go one more hour. It should be nice and bright when we wake up here. There we go. Okay, much better. 43%, 34, 54, 15, 11. Nice. Okay, um, how are we doing? I'm starting to get a little peckish. Now, the food poisoning, apparently you could, you would only get... They've, apparently... You only get food poisoned if you eat partial amount of meat. If you only and you have some left over, there's a, a chance for you to be food poisoned. But if you eat the entire piece of meat, there is zero chance of you being food poisoned. I'm not going to play that game. I could do it right now because it's not been fixed yet, but it will be. But uh, I'm not going to play that game um, where I just eat an entire piece of meat knowing I won't get food poisoned. I'm still going to cook it like I should. So, all right, I say we head on out here. We're only carrying 36 pounds. Let's go uh, do some gathering. Let's go get some firewood and whatnot. Um, plus, we could explore this little cave back here while we're here. Can I drop anything off in here? I wonder. Probably don't need that many antibiotics. Mm, don't need that many painkillers, really. I look like I'm a <laughs> look like I'm a drug seeker if I have that many. I'm running around. All right, that's good enough. No, it's not much, but. And we're already pretty light, but it's a good habit to get into. Okay, let's look both ways. Oh, it's negative three degrees. That's pretty wicked. Okay. Let's head on through here. Can oh, shoot. Here comes a dog. All right, guys. Well, let's go upstairs and sleep for an hour and wait this dog out here. You know what I could do? Could bust up some of this furniture. Yeah, let's bust up this chair cook up some meat there we go that will that'll do two things one it kills time allows that wolf to get out of the area and two we'll be able to cook up some food here 53 percent chance how much do you use that's my question how much of this do I actually use hmm I don't know don't really want to use any of my kerosene a bit stingy when it comes to fuel. I don't have the ability to make fuel yet. Well, I mean, other than f like, you know, chop wood, but I don't have any way to uh, make fuel that I could use in my lantern if need be. I guess I could just make torches out of uh, fires. Just grab torches from fires and use those, but I guess that would work actually. There we go. Let's 
grab a few of these steaks. And we're gonna cook up some. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong steaks, wrong steaks, wrong steaks. We want the crappy steaks. Well, they're only 1% difference. Okay, and we wanna cook up some water. I know, I'm getting a little. It's wishful thinking now. I got an hour and 13 minutes of uh, burn time, and I'm looking to cook three steaks plus cook boil water. Nah. I'll probably just do two steaks and some water. Maybe point two. I do need to go out and get some uh, firewood. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's do uh, point two gallons. I don't think we'd be able to do point four gallons and purify it without using the pills. So okay, there we go. Oh no, I melted it twice. Shh, that was the most brilliant move right there. And we're gonna need more than that. Not melt, boil. There we go. We should be able to do that. It should take about 16 minutes, so we should have about three minutes left. We should. About four. Okay, four minutes. Okay. Yeah, we're nice and toasty now. Ready to eat. Pretty much out of sticks. Don't really want to burn those. I <laughs> guess you could in a pinch, but uh, I'm not that desperate yet. And we're a little thirsty, so. But we got a little less than a half gallon of water left. Alright, let's put this uh, steak back here. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can maybe make it through here without attracting a wolf. You know I think maybe I'll just go out this way and head towards the huts, the fishing huts. Depending on what the weather is. I'd like to at least make it to the first fishing hut. Make it two degrees, that's pretty cold. I'll probably just do the first fishing hut. There's a wolf there. Grab a couple cattails for good measure. Hundred fifty, hundred fifty, hundred fifty. So. Okay, that wolf's going back that way. I'll try to go around the way the way I kind of went up onto the onto that rock there. I'm gonna try to go around it instead and avoid this wolf if possible. Yeah, it's not very warm. Good survival food right there, cattails. Good stuff. Plus you get tinder from it too. <clears throat> Alright, looks pretty good. I think we're going to make it past him without... Getting him too riled up, at least. Man, it's been school zone time at work, I'll tell you. I come on at 3 o'clock and the school zone's still active, which is 20 miles an hour in front of the schools. With the blinking lights and all that, I'm sure you guys know about them. And, um, anyway. Everyone's speeding, because school's, it's like school's just in session. I don't think people are used to it. Are you kidding me? Is he coming at me, or is he going away from me? Kind of looks like he's coming at me. But he's not trotting at me like he's got bad intentions. So we'll just try to bypass him the best we can. I think he's just... Okay, we'll just go to this hut instead for now. Oh, wait, we got another one here, don't we? How are you doing? Yeah, it's getting cold. I'm going to move slow. Low and slow. Kind of feels like there might be some weather moving in too. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone... I, I like, sit there, I, I'll shoot, like, three cars with the light. There's the weather. Okay. Ice fishing hunts, okay. So, basically, if I come out of this hut, and I head straight off of this 
I'm gonna move, walk in with my footprints the direction I want to go out on. So when I come out, let's go this way. Make sure we go this way. Do I have footprints? No, I don't. Okay. Let's try to remember that. Cloth, some wood. Come on, give me some clothes. I could use, really use a jacket, a nice winter jacket. Winter jacket, come on. I'm not scrapping. Pry bar, take that. That belly stove, okay. Let's, uh, let's get our uh, flare ready. So I'm thinking I basically go off of this corner, this direction. Yeah. The hard part is knowing how far it's 180 degrees. I think we're good there. Let's move. Okay, so we're going at the other hut right now, which means that our camp is probably about over there. Didn't mean to come to this hut, but here we are. Really use a jacket right about now. So if I go this way, then I should just be able to follow this over. moving nice and light, so I'm not too worried about my weight. I'll just follow this over. This should take us two minutes to the cabin. Whoa. These things are breaking breaking loose there. Yeah, this should be the cabin. Yep, there we go. Okay. Ooh. These uh, blizzards are a bit intimidating, honestly. Alright guys, well, one episode there. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that tip jar.